Scott again here. I'm going to show you today how to clear your cache on your Roku TV and help it make it work better. And uh, sometimes uh, you'll have a green screen and one of the things I'll show you will help take care of that. And I'll also show you how to update your software. So in this first one, I'm going to show you how to clear the cache. And remember the numbers 5122. Two. So 5122. So what you want to do, you take your remote, and so remember 5122. Two. That means you you press your home button five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then you press the up button once. And then you press the left rewind button twice and then the right side button twice, the fast forward button. And if it actually read that, it should reset and clear the cache. But I was actually pointing it up instead of down, so I may have to do it again. So I'm going to do it with it facing this way, but it's 5122. Two. Home button five times, up button once, left button twice, right button twice. So here I'm going to go. One, two, three, four, five, and then up once, and then left button twice, and then that right button fast forward twice. And we'll see if that'll do it. Sometimes it'll take up to 20 or 30 seconds before it'll kind of shut down and restart. We'll see if this works. Sometimes I've had to do it two or three times before that, that's worked. But uh, if I did it right, uh, wait for it, wait for it. Um, it should reset, shut down, and go again. There we go. So that did take uh, quite a few seconds, so don't give up on it. It'll come back up, and that will clear your cache, and that should solve some of your problems. When it comes back up, I'll show you how to check to see if, you're, if you've got a good connection. Here we go. Wait for it, wait for it. Wait forever for it. Okay, so if you go down to settings and then you go over to network and then over, you can check your connection and you can check it. You're pressing the, the little button in the middle here. Check your wireless connection and your inter internet connection depending on the speed of your connection it may be really fast or it may be a little slower looks like mine's a little slower today so both of those are good it was successful and you can go back and oh go back another time and the the third thing i wanted to show you is sometimes when you're streaming a video not a video streaming something from Netflix or Disney Plus or uh, Prime, Amazon Prime. You'll you'll see the menus fine, but as soon as it starts starts doing the um, preview, or if you go to see the the movie or the TV show, it will show in green. You can kind of see what's happening, but it's all in green. So. What you need to do, in most cases, is you need to unplug it and then plug it back in. Or, I've got a little off switch here on the, I don't know if you can see it, got too many cords here. Um, I just shut it off, just shut it off, and then usually I'll wait about 30 seconds. I'm not going to wait that long this time, but then I'll just turn it back on and it will come back on and 
that uh, nine times out of ten will fix the problem. In fact, for me, it's always fixed the problem. So uh, that will restart it. And part of the problem, I think, is that when we set up our TVs, we like to have them so they come on instantly. And you can actually set up your TV so it shuts all the way off when you hit the power button. And then when it comes back up, it turns up, it comes back as if you had uh, turned the power off and then back on. So that's probably one way you can always have it fixed. But uh, if not, well, let's see, I may have to push the power button. There we go. So it came back. So there's... There's three things, one way to clear your cache, one way to check your connection, and another way to fix the green screen. Hope that helps. Um, subscribe and give me a like and leave any comments down below with any other issues you've had, and we'll try to do a video on it. Thanks, and see you next time.